Hola YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel And if you're new here, welcome to the crazy family And if you've already been here, you know que tú eres parte de la familia Today's video, I'm recreating my 30th birthday makeup look A lot of you guys requested it and I was like You know what? We're gonna recreate this neon pink look I've been into eyeshadow lately I'm, I'm really touching it in there <gasps> trying to get in there so I wore this beautiful neon pink dress right here you tell I was cute I was like <laughs> who's this I couldn't even believe it my friends came through that day I had such an amazing day that day oh I can't even start to explain like how blessed and grateful I am for it oh you guys everything and and everything so yeah let's get right into this look um yeah let's get right into this look i just woke up all right so the first thing i'm going to start with is with the ultra repair barrier cream i've been obsessed with this cream um because the texture is like really fluffy i don't know if it could pick up it's kind of like a like a um mousse like one of those i don't know how to explain it it's a really cool texture but i love how a moisturize my skin without being like extra moisturizer -y. I don't even know if that's a word, but I've been loving this one. All right. My feels feels refreshed and bomb back home. All right, so we're gonna move on to eyes because the eyes is very, ooh, bright. <laughs> In the foundation routine, I'm just gonna cut it up because I don't, this, I don't want this video to be too long. So um, yeah, let's start with the eyes. The first thing I'm gonna use, the thing I've been obsessed with, I think this will inspire me to start doing more makeup because I've been following a lot of artists on Instagram that do beautiful makeup. And the three ones that come in mind is um, Lori Shina, Mimi Mim Mitchell, and Taylor Main, I believe. Um, those three people have, seen, have inspired me for me just to create beautiful eye makeup looks. If you guys have any more people that I should follow because they do beautiful eye makeup look, drop it down below so I can go ahead and give them a follow because I want to get inspired and I want to get inspired and this is my third time using the Plows Laos base this one right here been like everyone's favorite favorite whoever does makeup looks like crazy um like loud and all that so this right here I recommend this my third time third time trying it and how I apply it I grab a little like you know blending and I put a lot in there just like that and I bounce it in my eye not dragging it bounce it and just like that I used to cringe putting on eyeshadow all over but now I understand what they do it it's very important <laughs> to do it very very important all right so now we're gonna start with some eyeshadows you guys know I love my line crime plushies oh, I love this one so much as a transition any add on stuff like that this is perfect the only one that I haven't used is the blue because I don't do blue like that but uh, transitions beautiful I'm gonna be using rosebud and melon smoothie just on the crease to create like that you know situation situation I'm grabbing I'm like dipping in there and I learned to just dab on the color instead of blending. I kind of start blending at the end. I blend like a little, but I first just dab, 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 dab. And the same thing in the other. Okay. So then after that, I'm going to go ahead and grab Jane Charles, the pink color right here, the hot, hot pink. I do have to say that it stains your eye. Just if I just letting you know. I'm staining it for like a day and then after that was fine. But it does leave you like a kind of pink eye reflection in there but I didn't mind so if you don't like being stained I don't recommend you using this pink because it's gonna stop you all right and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna maybe press it it's not a really hard look but you really have to sit there and blend really good before moving on to the next step Then you go with the uh, clean blending brush. You kind of blend everything together. And we're good. You see that? Boom, 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 boom. Right. Crazy. I never thought that I was going to be doing some crazy neon, not crazy, just neon bright makeup looks for my 30th. I was like, no, I feel like the older I'm getting, the more I'm going to be like calm. It's like, psych. 
you wear with neon pink. I've just been really into color. Mm. See how pretty that is? I'm blend out. Seam seamless. Seamly. So I'm gonna move to the bottom and we're gonna blow that pink on the bottom, grabbing the base again. Boom, boom, pow. And a smaller brush for that. And this is gonna make me look a little crazy, but it's completely fine. <laughs> we look a little crazy. Ooh, we were looking a little puffy eye. We're gonna be looking puffy eye right now. Um, and then what brush I wanna use for this situation? I'm just gonna grab another flat brush like this. And we're going in with the pink color from the James Charles palette. I'm gonna start patting. So it's gonna be my liner also, because I want the eye to just look blown out on the bottom. This is the eyes. Very simple, but you have to sit there and blend. It took me like a good, what? Fif 10 to like 15 minutes to really get in there how I want it. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to foundation. I'm gonna be using, you guys already know, corrector. All right, so for foundation, I'm gonna have to grab Bobbi Brown, one of my favorites right now, Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation in the 6.5. Literally my perfect color. Foundation is on it. Popping. I'm gonna be using the Huda Concealers to conceal and brighten. I'm gonna be using Peanut Butter 24G and Caramel Corn in 22N. The 24G is too. Conceal. I like how this coal feels underneath my eyes. I'm gonna have the booty. Go ahead and blend this out. <laughs> what do we look like? Oh my gosh. Every time I look at my face when I'm doing this, I'm like, Dio mio. You're kind of scary. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start blending, you know, the chin area. The lip, boom, 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 right here, and then the nose. Blending the under eye is gonna be, you guys know it takes forever, it doesn't, mm. I'm gonna let it cook a little in there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my NYX stick to contour. Do I want to use a sponge to clean this out? I like what I want to do. What you gonna do, girl? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I wanna go up. You know what? I'm gonna hurry to grab another booty, a clean booty. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer. Not concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the contour. Whew. Now it's time to attack this under our concealer. Whew. My arm is like, wow. I'm gonna grab the eyeshadow brush again and kind of go in the little holes, but I can't go with the sponge because if I go with the sponge in there, I will literally mess everything up. And then go back again with the spongy bloom 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 to blend everything out. I did highlight extra because it is my 30th birthday. Well, it was. So we're going like, woo, you know what I mean? It's all or nothing. Hello. Let me highlight it. I'm gonna grab whatever is left here. Twenty hours later, I'm gonna go ahead and grab Nufa um, by Huda and set underneath those eyes. And when I'm setting, I like the powder to be really even around the sponge, not like splashy, because it shows when you're setting. So it will lock everything. Yeah, you know what that reminds me of? I don't know if you guys used to watch a uh, Garage War or something like that. Storage Wars. I go, yeah. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> okay, the other eye. 
and whatever is left, I go around the face. And knock everything out. You thought that I was finished? I'm not finished. I'm still gonna highlight more. This is just setting. So the makeup, don't move, don't play you, none of that stuff. You thought that I was finished? No, I'm not. Let me turn the air on. Hold on, I'm hot. Woo! My butt is sweating. All right, you thought that I was finished? Like I said, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Blondie now. Also, bye, Huda. Um, this one, I do it when I want an extra highlight. I don't do this all the time. Kanufa is my main squeeze, but what is this, Blondie? I wanna call it banana, but it's not banana. I'm gonna do the same thing with the spongy. I make sure that it's even all over. Don't blow on your customer sponge. This is my sponge underneath my eyes, so I'm fine. So, yeah. And then if you wanna be a little extra, grab whatever's left on the sponge, don't dip it again and go under the contour line and just to lift up in there. I did this on my birthday. I didn't do that when I'm the regular because it's too much for me. But if you like that, like I said, do what you gotta do. Well, that goes. I'm gonna go ahead and be using one of my favorite blushes at the moment, Boxen Wonderlust um, Mykonos. Mykonos. I'm loving it. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the, you guys already know, uh, dark deep and some power for bronzing my big old face. I've been loving Bobbi Brown and this ones are like my favorites. I'm gonna be grabbing the lashes that I use. This ones are by, what is it called? Body Lashes by Jenny69 um, in the new style Saucy. I think it's called Saucy. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so now, ugh, I need to do eyebrows, what? Uh-uh, grabbing Anastasia gel. I'm gonna be grabbing this one, you guys are gonna hate me for it. This is my favorite uh, um, highlighter. It just levels me out really, really cute, really, really good. Look, and it broke again. Man, I don't know what I'm about to do when this is like done, done. There's nothing like it. There's others, they're nothing like it. I'm not even gonna tell you guys the name because this is continuing. <laughs> and also because this look is so bright, I don't want anything taking over from the eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna play it really safe with the highlight. Okay, so what do we have going on? Well, <clears throat> we still have the thing from the eyebrows drying. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom lashes. Not too much, there's a little. Step away from the mascara. I said just a little, and I'm going in there. Adding more and more and more. Okay, so now my eyebrows, kinda dry. Grabbing spike. <laughs> spike and filling in whatever is missing. I just like my eyebrows flowing with it. I'm not gonna make them perfect. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. He said I wanna go back in, but I'm like, no, I'm not. Grabbing consider to clean up on IO7. I haven't said that in a long time, yo. Long time. Clean up on IO7? Where? Clean up on eye And as you guys know now, I love to my eyeshadow to come into my eyebrows. Like, I love that. So I'm gonna grab the brush that I blend everything off first, like the clean one that I was blending with, and I'm gonna go on top of it. Diffuse it into my eyebrows. I love that look. And then here, also. So now we have that ready. We're gonna go ahead and move on to lips. You guys already know, cork lip liner. Line those babies up. Make sure you overdraw. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab Anastasia Hollywood Matte Lipsticks. Hmm. And then we go back. It's so matte. Go back with the liner. Just add any detail. Maybe last while applying the lipstick. I love that lipstick. And then, comma grab.
and that was my lip color mm, 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 mm. am i missing something highlight i have blush i have a am good i'm gonna go ahead and spray myself just because i'll take this makeup off anyways but do my hair right quick put my dress on and give you kind of like the same you know situation Okay, mis amores, so we are back with the finished look. I did add uh, a little glitter of the Pamograph, this one right here, on my inner corner, just because I was like, wait, I'm missing something, and it was that. Um, let me clean my lip off. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys kind of like a visual how my birthday situation was. You guys don't want to see how this ponytail looks at the end, the back. <laughs> it's kind of like, look at me, but don't touch. It's holding for dear life. But just want to give you guys the feel. I did get this dress custom made for me because I wanted something like this and I couldn't find nothing like it. I did tag it on my Instagram picture. Kind of tap on it and it shows you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy my 30th makeup look. Um, it was one of my best birthdays ever. Literally, like, I'm so overwhelmed. And I just want to thank you guys for those who took the time to wish me happy birthday. I love you all. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Comment below and tell me what you guys think. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Ciao. Besitos.